Hello, 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 everybody. I was checking to make sure you could hear me. Uh, so I am Heather. We come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, so you can learn more about Luminous, what we have to offer, what's going on, what's happening, all the fun stuff. And so we had some technical difficulties uh, yesterday. And so I wanted to kind of touch base on what we talked about that day. Um, and really, because I think it's important, bottom line, very important. Um, and so I kind of labeled it the same, but different. Uh, and so this one is don't stop airbrushing after one day. Okay. All right. So we are going to talk about that, but we know that people are in all different stages of airbrushing. And so we do talk about the beginnings or the the start of airbrushing, what to do. Um, and I'm going to do something. I think I can do it. Um, while, uh, let me get this one. Okay. I think I can do it while I'm doing this. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Come on, come on. I got the breeze starter kit down. Um, it's not downloading. Who's saying hello? Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Mia. How are you? Good to see everybody. Oh, yeah, it is on. Okay, let me do one more just in case. Let's try that one. Um, so this one is our starter kit. This is um the breeze, obviously, and the breeze is um our new chargeable cordless one. Um, and it comes with the two bottles of foundation, love and blush. Uh, the blush still, still very high pigmented. Um, and you're only going to use two drops and the love you'll use maybe occasionally. Some people love it. Uh, some people use it all the time. Others like I use it maybe, um, like, and I'd use it in my foundation. I also use it in my, um, uh, my blush sometimes just to change it up, but that's what you get. And then we also have what you want to do and how to start off right here is keep that stylus moving. You're going to keep it level and keep it moving around the face. You're not going to hurry. You're just bam, bam, bam. And then you're going to barely pull back, but you want to keep it four fingers whoop, from your face. Um, super important to do that. Thank you, Lori. Um, good morning. I know, I know. I got my lashes done. Um, <laughs> fabulous lashes. Hey, Heather, how are you? Good to see you. Guys, Dorothy's on. We can say hello to Dorothy. Um, nope, not airbrushed yet. Not airbrushed yet. I'm about to start. So. I am going to start with, I don't know what I want to start with. Let's, I'll do glow because I did glow yesterday, but nobody saw it because we're, there's only like Lori and Jeannie on. There wasn't a lot of people on yesterday. Uh, hey, Veronica, good to see you. Um, all right, so I am going to start with glow and I'm going to put my glow into, I only, actually, I meant to only put a couple of drops and I put too many. My allergies are having fun with me today, too. And guys, Dorothy, um, Dorothy is our Heather 2.0. If you go to Luminous Live if you ha on Facebook, we have questions. If you have questions and need them answered immediately, then you can go straight to her and ask. She plays videos, she, but she's there to answer questions. So that's something um, you can definitely start doing. All right. So I'm looking up and I'm going back and forth. So when you're practicing with the water and you're like, bam, 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 and you're practicing with the water, you're going to be able to hear when it's coming out, when it's, um, you'll be able to hear kind of a wet sound. And so that is something um, you'll learn. So you'll also learn it when you're doing the makeup and the makeup comes out. So I'm going back and making another pass because I want this 
kind of that lit, that young youthful glow. <laughs> Lori said, I guess it's the lashes. Girl, we already know that mascara makes a world of difference, a world of difference. So we know lashes make a difference. You can seem so fancy. And guys, this is the other thing, like it's not on my lashes. So you know that it only goes where you're pointing it. So when you're practicing, maybe you're just practicing with the air, not even pulling back on the trigger, wherever you feel that air is where the makeup goes. That is your air brush. Airbrush, that's what it means. The air is brushing it on, right? We're not touching our skin. Okay. So I have that kind of lit from within look. I know I'm going to have tons left because I put way too much of the glow on there. So I'm going to blow the rest of that glow out. But I'm not really going to worry about it too much because I can add whatever right on top of it. Um, let's do, I'll do the soft rose blush. Now, the reason I labeled this don't stop airbrushing after one try is because people end up put, we, we know that, I have to wipe it, sorry. We know that putting this on, it's different, right? Obviously. But how it goes on, how it should look, how it should feel is also different. So a lot of people will get the system and they're excited to use it and they're but they're putting it on like regular makeup. So it feels wet. You can see it when you put it on. And that is not how airbrush makeup goes. We want it almost to be like magic where you're doing the, you're doing it, the process, like four finger widths away, you're moving that stylus, the breeze, you're barely pulling back, your face isn't feeling wet, but then all of a sudden it starts, oh, okay, I see the, I see this disappearing, I see, uh, oh, how did I get out of focus? I see this, I, you know, like you can start seeing, things should start to blur, <laughs> just like this, so you, so it, it's a, it happens again like magic. It should just start happening, okay? So you shouldn't really see it. If you have a, um, you know, like if you're still struggling with that, if you're like, oh, it it looks cakey, it feels wet, it's, it's not doing what I want it to do, do it on a paper towel. Spray a few, you know, like put five drops in your breeze, spray it on the paper towel and have that come up gradually where it's not so like, bam, there it is. Cause you do want it to come up gradually. I know that's a frustrating thing is that people base their conclusions on airbrushing after the first try. And if you're not doing it properly, then you're not going to love it. Bottom line, right? And guys, you hate to, to bust your bubble, but you weren't an expert the very first time you did traditional makeup either. And so we need to, you know, take some time, take a breath and learn. We have so many different ways so you can learn. We have the lives Monday through Thursday, 1030 AM central time. We have Dorothy. You can jump on Luminous live on Facebook and ask her questions. You can also book a class with me. Oh, my battery's out. You can also book a class with me. Um, you can, we have uh, like one-on-one, -on -one, they're pretty much one-on-one -on -one classes. They're small group classes, but everybody's questions get answered. Everybody, um, they, you mean you leave happy because you have solutions to whatever problem you're having. So we have so many different ways to help you. All right, that's enough of my blush. Ah, well, hopefully everybody will be coming and look and checking it out because again, we do give you a lot of ways to to learn. All right, so now, ah, thank you, Lori. I think I'm going to take the shade three. 
And now I'm going to smooth everything out. I had my blush in there. I'm going to blow the rest of that blush out. And then adding my drops of my three. And this is the silk. Have you tried airbrush? Uh, hello. Have tried airbrush once watching for tips. Also have a concern, need a metal piece on the pull level. Do you offer a replacement part? Um, so, well, okay, hold on. Cindy is on YouTube and she uh, says she's tried airbrush once watching for tips. Also have a concern, need a metal piece on the pool level. Do you have the breeze, Cindy? So thankful to find the live shortly after I got the luminous. Yay! <laughs> yes, we're a little family here for sure. So I'm just making my passes, covering what I need to cover. I have like a little red mark right there. Let's cover that guy. It's the original stylist. Okay, so what we have, and let me address Cindy's question. So I'm guessing you, you lost this piece. So we don't have those pieces, but you can check online and you can get a replacement stylus. Um, and so look, if it's not on sale, wait, because it will be on sale. Um, our sales change. Let me check real quick. Our sales change every Wednesday. Um, cosmetics. I'm going to Luminous Cosmetics. Let's do stylus. And you can look up stylus. Um, so the stylus now is $74. And so you, we don't sell that little thing. We do have a replacement needle. Um, so you could do that. Um, if you need, if you like bent the needle, but we don't have the little trigger that you're talking about, um, to pull back, but I'm checking on something real quick. And sometimes those drop down a little bit more uh the stylus so you could wait to see if one comes down uh if the stylus comes down a little bit um but um you can almost get a, a breeze the new one this one for a little bit more than that so that might be something um five minutes 71 it's three payments you can try it for $19.95 and then it's three payments of $39.99, 40 bucks. Um, so not quite, but almost the same. You can get a brand new one. You can get the uh, breeze. Um, something to think about, but then you can also wait until the styluses go on sale um, and, and do it. But um, the big thing, and, and I have to say, um, the breeze to me is a little bit more user friendly. Um, you know, the stylus was all I knew up until the breeze came out. And so I love the stylus. Um, you know, it's, it's what I know. Uh, but I do feel like the breeze is a little bit more user friendly. So when practice, you know, you, and I don't know how you lost that Cindy, but you, I would say never break your system. Don't take this apart. If you need to clean it, soak it, like get a coffee mug, put it in hot water, warm water, and then put it down like to here and let it soak. Because what will happen is the warm water will melt the makeup and it will go down. Um, but the big thing is just it's spraying lightly. You have to clean it after every use, not after every color, but after every use, you have to clean it. Because if your stylus isn't working, your breeze isn't working, you can't airbrush. But this I love just because it is, again, a little bit more user friendly. Um, you really can't make mistakes with it. Um, you really can't make mistakes with the breeze e either. Um, um, I've seen them. I've seen them about $40 maybe or 50. It just depends. Um, you know. Holiday times, obviously, they're going to be low. Um, 
lower. So if you can wait that long, um, so try that. Um, they don't tell me cause I would blab everything, <laughs> but our sales, our sales do change every Wednesday. So if you're looking, go, you know, come like look every Wednesday to see what the new sales are. Um, so that, that way, you know, um, all right. So, um, Sandy, Sandra, sorry. Uh, when do you use primer? Have not heard any info regarding that one is porcelain. Another is no, that one is porcelain. Um, okay. So regard, we get this question a lot. Um, with the primer, we have porcelain we have the m1 primer those i would say if you are new to airbrushing if you're brand new to airbrushing just get the foundation down just worry about the foundation okay once you have the foundation down then start looking about okay do i need this do i need that primer to me it's going to because there is a little bit of primer in the foundation but primer it's going to depend on your skin tone or your skin type. It's going to depend on where you live. I'm in Texas. It's humid. So I don't always use the primer. Now, if I have been um, sick <laughs> and my face or dehydrated or my face just feels depleted, then I would use the primer. But you're going to use very little primer maybe three drops and then three or four drops. And that is something you can just go because it's colorless. But once you get airbrushing down, use the primer one day, see how it works with your skin, the where you live, all of that. And then don't use it the next day and see which way you like it the best. All right. Um, let me know how to start, how you start spraying. What area to start? Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Y'all are asking some really good questions. I like these questions. Um, so when I start, and Sandra and Cindy, if you go to the description, there's a link where you can book a small class with me. Um, you can book online, and it's a Zoom class, and it's noon Central Times, and they're on Mondays and Wednesdays. So you can book classes. If you have more questions, don't get me wrong ask your questions here. This is what it, this is for. But if you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention, you can book the class. Okay. That's just a side note. Um, but yes, primer you're going to use first before airbrushing for sure. Um, okay. So her face is shaped a little bit like mine. Can you mention how to start spraying? What area? Okay, so I go in and I do pre-coverage first. So if you saw me in the beginning, I go in and I'll spray underneath my eyes to all the way down here, my nose, kind of like right here because that's where I need most of my coverage. Then I go in and I'll do my blush. And blush, you're only going to use two drops. The blush is super high pigmented. So if you use more than two drops, you're going to look crazy. And I don't want that. So only two drops, then put the blush on and then I do my foundation. So because I did pre-coverage, because I did my blush coverage has already started. And so I make one complete pass. I'll show you. I make one complete pass. To, Lori, is today your birthday? Happy birthday. So I make one complete pass and then I'll go back in and worry about those areas that I need more coverage and then another pass and then I'm done. So you can start on one spot, but again, a couple of things you have to remember about airbrushing. When applying it, it blends, okay? So you're not going to see demarcation lines or you should not see demarcation lines like you would putting traditional makeup on. The air is your brush and it's blending as you apply it. Now, with that being said, so like my under eyes, I'll go all the way down here. And I'll just keep going. Okay, so you just keep moving, keep moving. You do not have to move fast. It's not a race. You're not, it's the moves are very deliberate. 
So just take your time and don't go too fast. Um, but those are some great questions, guys. Great questions. Um, you can, when you first start out, if you're like nervous about it, like I never, I keep my finger on the trigger and I just keep going. But at first, if you're a little antsy about it, you could do, 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 forehead. Okay. Cheeks. Okay. Cheeks. Okay. Here under my nose. T zone. Stop. So you can do it in sections if you want. You're going to get better each and every time you use it. Do not expect to be an expert the very first time you use it. That's my biggest takeaway today is don't stop after the first time you use it. The first time you use it, the chances are you're going to be spraying too heavy and you're going to be applying it like traditional makeup. You're probably going to pull down too hard on the trigger. You're probably going to go too fast. It's probably going to feel wet and sticky, all of that. So don't base your, uh, your thoughts or your, your, don't base it on that first use. Remember, always keep it four finger widths away from your face and you'll want to watch yourself, watch yourself in the mirror, move that around, check, bam, and make sure you're that four finger, always have it pointing directly at you and level. And then <laughs> everybody does it cindy you're not alone that's why we started these everyone does it think about it guys you only know traditional makeup up until this point right that's all you know so why would you think you, we know this is different and you're like oh well i just need to pull down the sugar and it should all be the same right no how it goes on is different so we're just retraining our brains into thinking luminous we're thinking airbrush versus traditional makeup. So four finger widths away, keep it moving, just practice with the air. You can also start off and put water in here and then start working on pulling down on the trigger very lightly. Water weighs heavier than the makeup, but, and so your face is gonna be wet, but we just don't want it running down. All right, hopefully that helped. And then you can always book an appointment or go see Dorothy. All right, so now I'm going to go in and do some eyeshadow. Oh, good. You covered an H spot and it worked. So that's the one thing, like you can go in with your pre-coverage and kind of do, 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 do. But even if you're focusing on one specific, like, bloop, again, super light, super light on the trigger. The infomercial shows where there's some H spots and she's just do, 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 do but it's very light. You can come in a little bit closer for those spots. When you're focusing on a certain area, you can come in till about three fingers um, away because the closer you are, the more precise it's going to be. All right, I'm taking our Nude and Naughty palette with my new lashes. I'm doing a little bit of gold. And just tapping that on. Lori, well, happy birthday tomorrow. Awesome. But again, guys, don't get frustrated because we are retraining our brains into thinking, airbrushing. And but know that every single time you have that in your hand, um, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Now I'm just going to do a, a kind of a medium brown. Rot in my crease. Getting used to the lashes. Ooh, ooh la la. And then another thing, another thing that I've been loving lately is I'm going to take, uh, where can I do it? Let's see. Maybe I can use this one. I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush, a little one, and then using the dark brown, um, 
I'm going to get another mirror so I can get a little bit closer. Using the dark brown to black, I'm going to apply some just to this edge. And smudging it out. And also remember, you can go in and place it and then go in and blend it. So if you can get the get it on to where you about where you want it, then I have to get used to you using my lashes. I'm just going to smudge it right at my lash line. So it smokes it at the end because I'm going to play up. Of course, I have to play up my lashes, right? <laughs> yes, Veronica said, it is a learning experience. Keep trying. We all had to learn to use the embers. Yeah, and that's what I don't understand when people are like, oh, I'm getting it. And then, oh, I used it one time and I don't like it. Come on. Come on, people. Now I'm using the flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just smudging underneath. Rock bar. And look, look how sexy eyes I have. But that's the great thing. And then you can apply lashes. You can apply mascara. We know that mascara makes what a huge difference. All right, going in. You know what I'm going for. My Dusty Rose. I'm going in. Thank you, Veronica. I went in to see if I was allergic to him first. Um... I wanted just to add a couple at the end just to see if I could do it. Cause last time I did lashes, I was allergic to them and, uh, I'm not. Yes, Cindy, you can. You, great question. Um, Cindy asked, can you mix foundation shades? And the answer is yes, of course. Now, let me back up by saying, hold on, let me put this lipstick on. Okay. Let me back up by saying, it depends if you truly are a diff, like if you truly are a mix of shades. I find, and I used to tell people all the time, mix those colors together, because if you have a stylus, you can put your drops in here, block the air, lightly pull back on this trigger, and it'll mix everything in here together. It's called back bubble. Same with this. Mix your drops in here. Back bubble to block the air. It will mix those together. However, I've, I've found that it sometimes is easier to airbrush the lighter color here. And then finish it off with the darker color. If, you're, if it's not too much. Does that make sense? So you can kind of use the lighter color under the eyes here as your pre-coverage. And then just here for the darker shade. Um, so I find that sometimes that works best. So you can try it either way. Um, if you're going to mix them, you can mix half and half. Mix those together and then see if you need to go lighter or darker to adjust the number of drops you put in. So there you go. All right. Yay. Mix lightly. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. We're done for today. Thank you so much. Lori, have a great birthday tomorrow if I don't see you on here. Um, Y'all have a wonderful day. And thank you for all the wonderful questions. I love it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.